The Sports Personality of the Year Award used to be Britain's biggest celebration of sporting swagger. It was the Athletic Oscars, a crown of revelry for the sporting superstars who defied the odds, thrilled spectators and rallied the nation, all with a twinkle in their eye and a cheeky grin. Past winners included Rocketman, Sterling Moss, World Cup hero, Bobby Moore, the audacious Ian Botham, the impossibly gifted Paul Gazza Gascoigne, Lennox the Lion Lewis, Golden Bulls David Beckham. And on it went, a veritable gilded scroll of indisputable greatness. For all their charm, their chutzpah, and yes, personality, what all those winners had in common is that they won a lot of things. But at last night's ceremony, this happened. And the winner of the 2023 BBC Sports Personality of the Year is, from Nottingham, Mary Herbs. Well, look, Mary Herbs is the goalkeeper for the England women's national team. She seems a thoroughly decent human being with bags of personality. She's also an excellent women's goalkeeper uh, playing for England uh, at, the, at the peak of her career. Uh, but this year was not the best for her or the Lionesses. They lost the World Cup final to Spain. Uh, more people talked about the unwanted advances of Luis Rubiales from the Spanish Football Association, anything that the Lionesses did on the pitch. And the Lionesses then failed to qualify for the Olympic Games. This is really a year where they want to just keep quiet, isn't it? Rather than go out there and accept awards for being the best sports person in the country. Those who missed out this year on winning were Frankie Dettori, the greatest jockey in history, as he retired, Ryder Cup hero Rory McIlroy, one of our greatest ever golfers, cricket legend Stuart Broad, who ended a spectacular career on an incredible high and won the moral ashes. And what about Ronnie O'Sullivan, who won his eighth World Snooker Championship, a record, and wasn't even nominated? Well, students of my common sense assessments of such things will recall I was equally scathing when the England men's team won Team of the Year in 2020, despite having lost the Euros final to Italy. The great Kenny Dalglish, who won eight league titles and three European Cups as a player and manager, was given a Lifetime Achievement Award and he said this. Look, for me, it's, it's, a bit, it's not about taking part, it's about winning. Yeah. It's not about taking part. It's not about participation prizes. It's about winning. That's what made Kenny Dalglish one of the greatest winners in the history of British sport. It's quite literally the definition, isn't it, of sport. You compete to win. Now, we've now had three female winners of the BBC Sports Personality Award on the bounce. And to be clear, there's nothing wrong with women winning the title. Emma Raducanu shot the world to win the US Open, age 18, a worthy winner. Beth Mead led the Lionesses to an historic European Championship title last year, a worthy winner. And in previous years, Dame Kelly Holmes won two gold medals at the Summer Olympics and she won it. Good, so she should. But Mary Earps this year won nothing. Even her club, Manchester United, rather like the men's version, won absolutely nothing. She did lead a virtuous campaign to have replicas of the women's goalkeeping shirt made available to buy. OK, does that make you the sports personality of the year? Over Rory McIlroy? Stuart Broad? Frankie Dettori? Poor old Ronnie O'Sullivan. Does it? Does it even make you better winner than Katarina Johnson-Thompson, who won a second heptathlon gold in the World Championships athletics? I don't think so. It looks to me like that terrible scourge of virtue signaling box ticking has crept in to this once great award. It's become the national equivalent of a participation medal. Didn't they all do well? Losing doesn't matter. Winning would have been a problem. This is where we've gone, isn't it? We're a society that now celebrates mediocrity over winning. And when you do that, your society becomes inevitably mediocre itself, which is exactly how so many British people feel right now about our country and our place in the world. Well, join me now to discuss all this. is sports broadcaster Bianca Westwood, talk to the contributor Esther Kraku, and Daily Mirror's associate editor Kevin Maguire. Right, right, Bianca Westwood. You and I uh, discussed uh, recently Joey Barton's comments about women 
pundits and commentators, and I was with you on that. I thought he was talking a lot of nonsense, actually, about, uh, about the women's uh, commentary and punditry lineup, many of whom are absolutely excellent and just as good, by the way, as many of the men, if not better, right? Which is how it should be. You're there on merit. You're not there because you're a woman. On this one, I have a big problem. I can see that. With what happened, because I think it sends entirely <laughs> the wrong signal. I don't understand why she won, other than it's a public vote, so a load of women, I presume, and girls who love the lionesses have gone dum 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 and she wins. But she's not a worthy winner. It doesn't do women's sport any good. It doesn't do women any good. The number of women who've messaged me, honestly, and said, you're so right. We don't want to win like this. We don't want to win just because we're women. We want to win because we win. Or we're as good or better than the men. What's wrong with that? Did you vote? No. <laughs> Well, if you cared so much about it... I don't vote in any public vote. But why didn't you vote if Ever you since so the British public it? voted to name a boat, boating at boat face, <laughs> I realised they couldn't be trusted, right? You don't really no. have a leg to stand on. Well, no, I don't. You, no, if you, no, no. If you, I don't vote at anything. All of those on social no, no. media are so angry To be clear, about it. I don't I'm think sure it's... I'm sure they didn't vote. I don't think it's my right as a uh, supposedly impartial uh, television presenter of a news and current affairs show to vote in any of these things. So I don't, okay. right? So let's just park that to one side. All right, well, there's a few key elements that... Here. Here's my question. Did she deserve to win? <laughs> Prince William was on Twitter today saying, hugely well-deserved, Mary. She deserved Signed it. Signed it W. Why was it hugely well-deserved? She deserved it as much as anybody else. Why? Who Tell me why. What well, did she win? You have to look at the criteria, first of all. I, I actually didn't know what the criteria for the sports personality was, mm. so I looked it up, up. It says it takes into consideration the sporting achievements of the last 12 months and the impact of those achievements beyond the sport in question. I think that's key. But if you want to look at Mary Earp's achievements... She was uh, the only loser of the seven nominees. I'll tell you what she did win. She won the World Cup Golden Glove, the FA Player of the Year, the FIFA Women's World's Best Goalkeeper, England Women's Player of the Year, the WSL Golden Glove as well. She won that. She was a World Cup finalist. She won the finalisma. She also won the Arnold Clark Cup as well, which is another international... How many actual competitions Another, another she, international... How many competitions for club or country if did any, she win? If any England male player had won any of those, or, and especially if they'd won all of them, I don't think we'd be having this discussion. Really? No, I don't. If Jordan, Do Pickford, if Jordan Pickford had won the best goalkeeper in the world, mm. the FA best player of the, the season, uh, the Golden Glove in a World Cup, the Golden Glove in the Premier League, if he'd have won all those, would we be having this mm. discussion right now? Do you genuinely, in your heart, believe that she is a worthier winner than Rory McIlroy, who's never won it? Ronnie O'Sullivan who's never won it. Frankie Ronnie Dottori... wasn't even in, on the Hang short on. list for some reason. No, Frankie Dottori has never won it. Stuart Brawl, one of the all-time great England cricketers, never won it. None of these guys have ever won it. Ronnie wasn't even nominated. But it takes into consideration the sporting achievements of the last 12 months. I don't know when they make the short list. Maybe it was before one, Ronnie had won the, no. the UK. That's a different argument. I'm not sure why he wasn't on there. But it's also about the impact, and you can't say that Mary Earps doesn't have an impact in her All right, but that's an interesting point. So my daughter comes home from school today, age 12. You know the first thing she said to me yesterday? She said, Dad, she said, I, I had a great game of football today. I went, okay. well, a proper one. She went, proper one. I said, what, with, with girls? She said, well, girls and boys. I said, what happened? She said, we won. And I said, where did you play? She said, we're centre midfield, Declan Rice. I was like, wait, I love this. <laughs> so I, I completely love the impact the Lionesses have had on the nation's females, young and middle-aged and old, whatever they want to be, to play football, to watch football, to love football, great, right? That's not, for me, in debate, so it's great. Is that enough to warrant winning this? Well, I think, obviously, the answer is no, but I think your bigger issue was with the voting British public as opposed to the fact that she's on the shortlist. Because, yes, of course, there are the people that won it, but it's who's more visible, right? This, this woman is, is, is in, in a position of prominence, particularly for young girls who probably have never voted for this. They thought, actually, this might be the first year I'll vote for this woman. So I think that's the bigger issue. I do take issue with the quip, though, about Manchester United, Mr. Piers Morgan. <laughs> well, you and, won, and, and I will never forget that. As, you, as a traumatised United fan, well, I will remember It that. wasn't a quip, it was a statement of fact. You won absolutely nothing. <laughs> And you're not going to, because you got rid of Ronaldo, and ever since then, you've collapsed. And Eric Ten Hag I, I, has I turned think, out to be completely useless. I think I need, I need some mental health uh, resources. Yeah, you can't, it wasn't a quip, it was a statement I, of fact. I, 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 yes, but I'm, deep, the men's hurt, team, but I'm deeply hurt by it. The man, well, you can be hurt I'm, by I'm it. I'm recovering from yeah, my well, illness. Well, then don't drive Ronaldo out of your car, <laughs> right? Uh, Kevin. 
Yep. Give me some common sense take on this. Piers, look, I'd have voted for Stuart Broad, but he didn't win back the Ashes. Mm. He won the Moral Ashes. Yeah, but he didn't win back the Ashes. Or he was cheated, doesn't count. He didn't win back the, the Ashes. The fact is, Earps has got bags of personality. She sells more shirts than Jordan yep. Pickford, the male England keeper. And it's a sports personality. Well, she yeah. qualifies for sports and she's got the personality. When was the last loser who didn't win anything? I mean, look, I tell you, putting, all right, aside, all right. putting Remember, aside the individual golden gloves, I mean, that's all fine, let's, right? You know, but when was the last person who actually was a loser in a year to win that award? Well, the ones I know, think of Gaza. Gaza mm -hmm. won in 1990. England didn't even get the World Cup final. Yeah. I thought he was a worthy winner. 1998, uh, Owen... Michael Owen won it. Mm. England didn't get to the final. Mm. Look, she got to the final. She won the Golden Gloves. Mm. She's inspired people like your daughter. And that's why she won. All those people, it must be tens, hundreds of thousands of women have been inspired to play football because of the likes of her. And I that's why my, she's won. I think my irritation about it is that I think the others was, are such worthy winners. Mm. And in terms of personality, there is no bigger personality in world sport than Frankie Dottori, for example. Ronnie O'Sullivan, the documentary about his life is unbelievable, right? He's won eight world titles and never won this, right? Yep. Um, you know, you look at Stuart Broad, I mean, one of the all-time great cricketers. You could go through a whole list of them. It, it's really the, one, the men who haven't won it yeah. now being eclipsed by somebody from the same team as the winner last year, yeah. and yet this year the team did very badly. Yeah. To me, it looks like a reward for failure. I do take your point. I mean, I yeah. knew that not everyone had won, so I was curious whether you knew. Yeah. And it's a valid point to make. The points you make about all the individual things she's picked up is a valid point yeah. to make. The impact she's had on the game is a valid point to make. Mm -hmm. But no one can convince me that this year those men that were eclipsed shouldn't yeah. have won it instead. No, that, right, they have achieved more in their careers, unquestionably. Yeah. However, they've had long careers. So, in a, in a sense, you don't get the impact she has got because women's it's football has taken off. That's absolutely, yeah. it's like a volcano yeah. erupting. And that's why people have gone and... But that's why they were rightly honoured last year with almost every honour going, yep. including the team award. But they also won the individual personality of the year, which was the... I think she was the captain, right, uh, Beth? Perfectly good to do that. I just think it, when you start rewarding people for the failure of their team to win anything, which is really what this world does. That's not what they're rewarding her for. They're rewarding her for being an exceptionally good female football player who is inspiring people. Yeah. That's that's in why they're rewarding months, you her. You could argue that she's having more impact on young people than any of those other sportsmen. You know, Ronnie, as brilliant as he is, is mm. is he inspiring? Uh, you know, and. Uh, a generation of young kids and to pick up a snooze. And also, the, the failure of a football who, player no. to, to not win anything is down to the team as opposed to her as an individual. So we have to remember that. She, One thing I think we can agree on is Joey win. Barton in his, in his rant today, some of which I agree with, but in his rant today, he says he, he said, I'll score eight, 100 out of 100 penalties against Mary Earps any day of the week, twice on a Sunday. Here's my challenge to Joey Barton. Right. You do that. Let's set that up. Mm -hmm. You take 100 penalties <laughs> against her, right? And every one you miss you give £100,000 to a charity of our choice. You'd be bankrupt. Hundred grand per missed penalty, right? I reckon he'd be down a few million, yeah. right? Yeah. She's a good goalkeeper, well, look, right? Uh, but the thing I'm we can't agree on... Time. He also said that... He also was personally abusive and yeah. said that she was a, a sack of spuds or something, right? She's obviously a great athlete. She's supremely fit. She's at the top of her game, mm. playing in World Cup finals and so on. That kind of gratuitous abuse... I think is completely unacceptable and unnecessary, right? So yep. we can all agree on that. That's very different, though, uh, to questioning, as you are, why has she won yes. when these sports people have over their yeah. careers achieved? I, th I think Joey Barton is, look, he just needs to get a life or get another manager's job or is that, is that, you know, a like partner a or whatever, boy? whatever. He just, he's just, again, he's just lost it. I think he's like a, a teenage boy enjoying the attention yeah. from the internet for the first time. You know that high where you're just incentivized to say whatever comes yeah. to your mind. I mean, I think the bigger issue with this award is should she have been nominated in the first place for not actually having won anything? I don't but think it's the did, fact that she, she won. won. All I, think of those the I, think, I think that's a good point. Yeah, I think it's the nomination, not the fact that she won. Yeah, because last year, everyone, no one had any problem with Beth Mead winning it because they won the Euros. Fantastic, exactly, right? Yeah. But I just think that I'm not sure that women should feel comfortable about this win. I think women should think, you know what, 
This looks like box ticking. But then you it have looks to look like... at the criteria. What have the others well, won in the was, last 12 propelled. months? It was propelled by a bunch of young well, women Rory who had ne won the, won never the been interested Cup. in women's football. He was the driving force behind the winning of the Ryder Cup, the yeah. big, one of the biggest sporting events in the world. P Rory McIlroy has never won this. Piers, if, if, if England men's football... Year, huh? He didn't win an individual major yeah. this year. Nobody, he, won a, he won the ultimate team event. If, if, if England men's football got the World Cup final, Jordan Pickford, Sunderland lad, played blinder all the way through, best keeper in the game, they lose 1-0. And he won it. Would you really? No, would you? Would you? Well, you know. Well, you know. Hello? I've already said that when we yeah. when we lost the Euros final, I didn't think the men mm. should have won the team award. But you wax yeah. lyrical about Gaza, who was you know an unbelievable player. But in 1990, mm. he hadn't won a thing. Why is that okay? Because he's Gaza. Yeah, but he, <laughs> he, he was Gaza. He was Gaza, and he cried in Italy, he was, he, and that's why he won it. David because, Beckham he was a more talented because, because, player. Because, took the free kick at, uh, well, because, you know, look, against Greece. That was why he I'll won tell you it why, that Because he was the greatest footballer, English footballer. I don't think Ryan Giggs I've ever won seen. Anything. And with greatest respect to Mary, she wouldn't get into Gaza's junior team at school. Right? So let's yeah, be clear. but it's in your chosen field. We're not, let's be clear we're about not the, saying that women's clear. football is no, the same if you're as going men's to, If you're football, going to compare men to that's women... That's like saying cycling is the same as athletics. No, but if you're you are, if you are going to say... Sport, if you're going to compare her to Gaza, I'm going to say Gaza was not only... It's who is hang on, best in answer, their field. Not only was Gaza ten times better as a football player, he just was, but secondly, he had ten times the impact on the country. Right? And if you don't believe me, go out and ask 100 people in the yeah. street tomorrow, go down Oxford Street, I agree. ask them two questions. Who's Paul Gascoigne? And then say, who is Mary Earps? Absolutely. And even I... though she's just won that award, <laughs> most of them won't have no heard of Mary Earps, right? I agree it, with I'm that. I'm not saying that they won't in five, ten years. Well, there you go. The growth of the game is fantastic. Nobody knew but how But please brilliant... don't try and compare her to Gaza. No, but no, I was saying that, because you had said that you had to have won something, mm. He hadn't won anything that year. That's a valid point. He cried in Italy. That is a valid point. And we all felt for him. But they were we magical all loved tears. Him. Yeah, but, <laughs> but, 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 but both tears. Ga Paul, Paul Gascoigne in 1990, Mike Alone in 98, didn't win, but they inspired people. And Mary and, Earps, and Mary Earps, Earps exactly has done the same, the same again. That's it. It's the, it's it's the same. Well, I can only judge again. If my daughter's out playing football at Declan Rice and centre midfield and ecstatic <laughs> about it, something's happening. Yeah. Yeah. Something's <laughs> happening, and I like it. Something in the air. And I like it. So maybe I'm wrong. Maybe I'm wrong. Yeah. Maybe you persuaded you me. <laughs> good. So, but you know what? You put up a very good defence. Thanks, Piers. Which doesn't surprise me, because you're, <laughs> you're very capable. But uh, anyway, I appreciate it all. Thank yeah. you very much.